Dean, you've had a lot of luck over the last couple of years training many, many winners and uh, having a big Im impact in the breeding barn training horses that have gone on to become some great stallions. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've uh, we've been fortunate to have uh, bought some horses at the yearling sales and, and have landed winning classic races, you know, derbies and guineas and races like the July handicap. And uh, if you if you if you look at horses uh, that are standing stallions now, for example, Dynasty, who was probably one of the best horses this country seen in many many years. I mean, he he won every classic race in this country. He's now one of the leading sires in South Africa. Um, he's producing champions in his first uh, season. Uh, his first crop and, and he's upgraded his mares uh, so um, that's been a, a great boost and great boost to, to my business too. The quality of horse over here is probably world class and uh, it's very affordable. Very affordable you know with the uh, current rate of exchange and you come to South Africa you're buying good quality horses that have proven themselves internationally if you go and see what's happened in Dubai and, and, and also in the east in Hong Kong and Singapore and even in America uh, you look at Michael Lecoq's operation in Dubai, um, South African horses have performed very well because it's been a bit of a logistical nightmare getting them out of this country due to the African horse sickness and hopefully that we can overcome it this year. Uh, you know, but but uh, they've really proven themselves overseas uh, without a doubt. The Cape Sale look to be doing a great job putting together strong catalogues. What do you make of the quality? I've been uh, from the last couple of days having a look at the, at, at, at the yearlings and uh, I've seen some very, very nice horses. Uh, I, I, there's less horses this year than last year's catalogue, but, but a lot of quality horses. And, uh, you know, it's, it's sometimes a bit tricky for the breeders because the sale is, is, is pretty early. And then I think the, the stud managers and master, stud masters will, will get to grips with it in, 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 in the near future. Because uh, the sale is in January, so some of your late foals becomes a little tricky, you know, selling them in, in, in January. But I must say that the horses that I've seen at the sale, um, some lovely pedigree, some true good quality horses. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite excited about, uh, about the sale. For an international buyer potentially looking at investing over here, what would you say to them? I would say yes. It's 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 the it's the place to come and have a look once again. The current rate of exchange it, it suits the overseas buyer. If you're coming over the dollar, the pound, or the Australian dollar, wherever you're coming from, uh, it's uh, it's 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 a good buying ground, and um, uh, and 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 our, our track record is there. You can come over to this country. You can you can have a great time here in the southern hemisphere. It's, it's summertime, and um, you buy them at the right price. You keep them in South Africa for a while. If they prove themselves good enough to win the classics, move them out the country because if they're good enough to win the classics and they're one of the top-rated horses in this country, top three olds, they have stood the ground against the international horses. You've been active yourself over the last couple of years at the Cape Sale. What are some horses we might be able to keep an eye out for moving forward? Well, you know, the first sale last year before, I, 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 we, we, we only got about three horses and last year we were very, very strong. 2011 we bought some, should I should say 2012 we were strong, we bought some lovely horses we bought. We went for uh, some of the dynasty horses, as I said, he's a proven stallion in this country, he's the new boom sign in this country. Uh, we went for him um, and uh, they are not good, these horses that we specifically bought. We're not going to be early horses, they're more classic type of horses, so I'll probably only race them as late two-year-olds. But uh, we went for those type of horses. I went for uh, Trippy. We managed to get three Trippies there. You know, he's also doing exceptionally well in this country. Um, also, different type of Trippies. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sit a bit and then give them time because that's I've always been like it, as you know, I've been a more classic trainer than anything else. Uh, you know, Captain Al's we've bought. Uh, we've, so we've, I've also bought um, a lovely Jetmaster Colt. Basically, my strategy is, and working with my, my bloodstock agent, Jean Maleva, form bloodstock, is that we've always, our rule is, we've tried to stick to proven sires. And uh, if you are investing people's money, you've got to go for stallions that have made, that have made the mark. And uh, if you're going, sometimes we would also go for, it depends on the budget, on, on the client and what he wants to buy, um, then you would obviously go the stallions in the middle of the road. It doesn't mean they can't throw, throw a good horse, but when you're spending good money, uh, you have to go for proven stallions. A lot of new season freshman sides on the scene this year. Is there one who's taken your eye? Well, at, at, at this stage, no. You know, new, new season sides, you know, I would be looking with keen interest. I've always had, also had the strategy is that uh, if they're new stallions, I'd rather go the following year and pay extra premium once they've proven themselves.